Hello boys and girls and welcome back to Storytime with Miss Randall. Now, Sid loves Grandad. Grandad loves Sid and that will never change. Today's magical story is Grandad's Island by Benji Davis. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for even more amazing stories on Storytime with Miss Randall. Now, are you ready to get reading? <laughs> Let's go. At the bottom of Sid's garden, through the gate and past the tree was Grandad's house. There was a key under a flower pod and Sid could let himself in any time that he liked. One day, Sid called round to see Grandad. But he wasn't in any of the usual places. Then, just as he was about to leave, Sid heard Grandad calling. Ah, there you are, said Grandad. There's something I want you to see. Sid carefully climbed up the ladder. He had never been in Grandad's attic before. It was full of old boxes and things that Grandad had collected from around the world. At the far end of the attic, Grandad pulled a sheet down from the wall to reveal a big metal door. After you, Sid, he said. Sid turned the handle, clunk, and gave the heavy door a push. Sid found himself standing on the deck of a very tall ship. There was an ocean of rooftops all around. Grandad pulled the handle, went on and the ship lurched forward. Steady as she goes, Grandad boomed. Grandad was very good at steering the ship and kept them on a smooth course across the rolling waves. Mile after mile, all they saw was sea and sky sky and sea until, at last, something appeared on the horizon. Land ahoy! shouted Sid. They dropped the ship's anchor and made their way to the shore. Grandad, don't you want your stick? Sid asked. No, I think I'll be all right, said Grandad. In the thick jungle of the island, it was very hot. We must find a good spot for a shelter, said Grandad. At the top of the island, where a cool breeze blew through the trees, they found an odd shack. There was a lot to do, but with a little help, they soon had everything shipshape. They explored the island high and low. At every turn, they saw you wonder.
<laughs> it was the most perfect place. Sid wished they could stay forever. But he knew that it would soon be time for them to leave. Sid, there's something I've been meaning to tell you, said Grandad. You see, um, I'm thinking of staying. No, said Sid. But won't you be lonely? No. No, I don't think I will, said Grandad, smiling. Before he set sail, Sid hugged Grandad one last time. He would miss him very much. Everyone came to wave goodbye. Across the waves, the ship chugged and churned. The journey seemed much longer without Grandad, but Sid steered the ship safely home. The next morning, Sid went back round to Grandad's house. It was just the same as it had always been, except Grandad wasn't there anymore. In the attic, it was very quiet. The big metal door wasn't there. It was as if it had never been there at all. Then Sid heard something tapping at the window. He wondered what it might be. There, on the window ledge, was an envelope. Sid carefully prized it open. For Sid. I hope you have enjoyed this beautiful story, Grandad's Island by Benji Davis. Now, don't forget to subscribe and share with all of your friends so they can watch the story times too. Now, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you again in the next story time with Miss Randall. <laughs>